Welcome to my channel. I'm Hack Mods. Have you ever played a game and wanted more health, ammo, or lives? You may have seen someone who has infinite health or never runs out of ammo. Well, they may be doing memory editing. Memory editing is a process which alters the value of a registered memory address within the CPU process. So this means that any process being run by a system whether it be a game console or PC it is running commands through the system CPU core and storing values in memory addresses. Almost all computers, whether load slash store architecture or not, load data from a larger memory into registers where it is used for arithmetic operations and is manipulated or tested by machine instructions. Meaning that your game scores and the amount of points you have or the running time is stored as a value in a memory region as a register. Modern processors use either static or dynamic RAM as main memory, with the latter usually accessed via one or more cache levels. These memory address registers are then accessible to view with a memory region examiner such as Cheat Engine or HXD. Today we will be attaching a game process to examine in this exercise a simple game of cards to find memory assigned to points within the game, we will be using Cheat Engine which is a free download and the link is on screen and in the description. To start off we will attach the process within memory stored in RAM to our memory viewer also known as a debugging just to get a feel for how memory can be viewed and altered without corrupting the running process. Double click to begin the setup you have just downloaded we will install it, so we can begin editing memory and learning how to view and find registers and what they mean to us. Setup is straightforward just follow on screen as I do. Okay, so open up Cheat Engine. We want to um, attach the game process to the running memory. So in Cheat Engine, touch the computer at the top left, find the process in the process list. Okay, attach it, don't worry about the um, previously saved data. Okay, so now the object of this game is, um, oh, first off, to understand how this works, we want to know the, the objective of the game and how score is valued. Okay, so we do a quick flick, and this game can either be up or down. So um, three can go on to four, two can go on to three, um, four, four, and that's all adding up score at the top. Okay, so the score now is sixteen hundred. So now we can do a scan for sixteen hundred. We'll do an exact value scan at four bytes. Go new scan. That's brought up four hundred sixty-two um, values, address values. Okay, so now keep adding some more points so you can see if, when the values change so there's a lot of numbers there already 1600 so um, 16 so our points have gone up now so score 2500 now we do a value scan again or exact value for 2500 that should eliminate a few of the addresses now we go down to 3 which is pretty good okay so um, I noticed by moving around the mouse that the value didn't change, so it's obviously a locked value, so that's the one. So 2500, we'll just double check. Okay, so now we'll get some more points. Six, nothing going there, nothing going there, nothing going there. Okay, that can go on there. And our points have just jumped 2600, which has affected this value over here, so that's the correct address. Okay, so now we'll change that to whatever we want, we'll make it 50,000. And that should affect the game. There we go, 500,000 hacked. Okay, and in the next video, we'll do a different game, find a harder address to locate. Okay, hope that helped. I'm Hack Mods. Thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.